Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to go ahead and share five of my favorite Amazon teacher finds at the moment. Realistically, I feel like I could easily make two or three of these videos a year because there is so much that Amazon has and so many things I could have used in the classroom. So no pressure to buy any of these things whatsoever, but these are just some cool, fun activities and tools that you might like to use in your classroom. So let me dive in and show you five of my current favorites. Let's go. The first two I'm gonna share with you are actually both dry erase type tools, and these I love because that means they are reusable. And as a teacher, you may know that you don't have an endless supply of money to just keep buying things to use for one activity for your classroom. So the more multi-use I can get out of any sort of tool, I love it. The first I'm going to share are these dry erase dice right here. Now, I have used these in so many of my Sunday spotlights because again, they are so perfect to use over and over and over for different activities. These in particular ones are from Mind Sparks, and again, I got them on Amazon, hence this Amazon Favorites video, and they come with four big blocks. I like to use these a lot when I'm teaching how to play a game whole group because the blocks are nice and big and all my students can go ahead and see them. Also for the novelty of it, the big dice, um, I like to use them over in a small group if I'm working closely with students. Again, this one here I still have set up from when I would play this game roll and complete with short vowels. And this one I was just using as a regular numeric dice that students can go ahead and use. I like them because they're super easy to differentiate because again, you just wipe it off and replace it with whatever numbers your students need help with. The second dry erase tool that I want to share are these 52 blank puzzle pieces. Now, this is a new thing to my collection and I actually got it because my son Calvin has been working on um, putting his name, the letters in his name, in the right order. He can easily identify all six letters of his name, but he definitely gets those ones in the middle mixed up a little bit. So I thought this would be a fun way for him to grab the letters of his name. I wrote them down and I kind of mixed them all up and he could put them in the right order. I'll insert a picture of him doing that right here. Now I'll also mention that Calvin is only three and a half, so I'm not in any sort of rush for him to write his name. That's another reason these puzzles are fun because he loves to do puzzles. Since there are 52 pieces and my son Theo was also interested, I went ahead and drew some dots and some numbers that he could kind of match up while Calvin was doing his little name game. You can use both sides of these puzzle pieces, which is also great. And as I really started to think about it, there are so many activities you could do using these puzzle pieces, either in small group with you there to guide them or to put them in a center for students to do themselves. You can also go ahead and order numbers one through 20, one through 52. You can make all even numbers and have them skip count two, four, six, eight, 10, put that in order. Also on the back here, like a ton of good uh, teaching resources, they also have plenty of good ideas like addition and subtraction sentences and equations that they have to make. Let's see, oh, making sentences, so putting together short sentences, and then on the last one, sorry that was loud, I don't know if you can see this, but on the last one it says look at my dog, and then the student could actually go ahead and illustrate that on the puzzle piece to show that they understand what the sentence says. So I thought these were really cool and worth sharing. This one is a little more expensive, but oh my goodness, if I were in a classroom right now, I would absolutely buy this for my classroom if it goes on sale on Amazon. And this is the Learning Resources STEM Kit. So here's the cover of this one, sorry about the lighting. This is the City Engineering and Design Kit. And I found this because my son Theo, who's in pre-K, when I would go pick him up from school, he was always playing with this really cool engineering type set where he would be building a playground. So I asked his teacher, she said he loves that set. And so for Christmas, Santa brought us the City one. Now the kit says age is five plus and my son Theo is five and it's perfect for his age. So kindergarten, first and second graders I think would love this as a morning tub or if you have any sort of science area where students have any type of like free play or even indoor recess, it would just be awesome. So they have these cards, there's usually 10 different ones that they can make and it gives you an idea. So it says design a deluxe bridge. I'm gonna to try to zoom that in. I know that laminating's hard, but it'll tell you exactly what tools you need and it will show you what the bridge looks like. Now on the back, it's gonna give you some simple steps, but it's not gonna tell you every little thing you have to do. So you kind of have to look at the way it's made and you have to count up the pieces, try to put it together and it's just, 
really, really fun. My kids love it. They get super engaged in it. Like I said, this one's a deluxe bridge. They have an elevator. There's a zip line they can make, a skyscraper, all sorts of really fun things. And I'm pretty sure the learning resources kits, like I said, I know there's a playground one. This is city and engineering. Uh, there's a treehouse one. There's quite a few other ones. So if I can find the other ones, I'll link them down below. Some are more expensive than others. But if you have a pre-K student at home, or if you think your kindergartners, first grade or second graders would love this, add it to the list. So the last two I'm going to share are definitely teacher tools to use in the classroom. Now, if you've watched some of my videos, especially earlier on, you will have noticed that I like to use this Lakeshore pocket chart. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of it. And it's essentially a tabletop uh, pocket chart. Now that one's a little pricey, but I loved it because I could always keep it on my table in small groups and I did not have to move. And also when I was a K through two literacy teacher, I had to walk around from classroom to classroom and meet my different groups all over the building. So it's kind of like my little traveling small group center that I could just take with me and plop it open on a table wherever I was and I had what I needed. I found another one on Amazon that's a little smaller, but it definitely does the trick and it's a fraction of the price. I'll go ahead and insert some pictures, but this one is called the Eme, I think that's how you say it. And it's magnetic and it's double-sided. And as you can see in the pictures, one side has a dry erase board where you can go ahead and write things. And it's also magnetic, so you can stick your letters and numbers right on there. Now I lo also love that right underneath there are some storage, so you can just plop those letters and dry erase markers right in there, close it up and go. Another cool thing about this one is when you flip it to the back side, you can see that you can use it actually as a little pocket chart and it folds right up with the handle that, oh, if I had that, because I will tell you my Lakeshore one, while I love it, it is a little heavy. This one is super light and you can just carry the little handle and walk with you wherever you need to go. And last but not least, this one might seem a little silly, but it certainly saved my sanity when I was in the classroom. And that is some sort of organizer for your whiteboard materials. I'll insert this workables one. I always liked one that kind of looked like this. It was nice and big and it had different compartments because when I would have my dry erase markers just laying on the little ledge that your whiteboard has it, they would get missing. The students would always touch them. I could never find what one I needed. So I always loved this. I would just put it way high up on the whiteboard when I needed it and it could house all my sticky notes, any magnets that I needed and all of my erasers and markers that I was using. There are ones with two pockets, three pockets, whatever you might need, but some sort of organizer for these materials was just something I didn't think about until I was in the classroom for about three years. And then once I finally got this, I, I didn't understand why I never had it before. I mean, for like $10, I was like, oh, I could have, you know, saved myself a lot of frustration many times. So there you have five of my favorite Amazon finds for teachers. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. And why don't you tell me what is your favorite teacher tool or teacher, you know, toy, material, teacher something that you have found on Amazon. Let's go ahead and leave a little list down below. That way other teachers viewing this video can see what others have gotten. And just one last time, I wanna make it very clear that none of these are necessary to have an effective classroom. They are just things I have found that have either my students have liked, my own children have liked, or have helped me, you know, kind of maintain my sanity in the classroom. So I wanted to share them with you. As always, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click that bell. That way you don't miss any of my new uploads. See you later. Bye.